Well, as you can see out there, I know it's dark. You can probably see my four ways going. Uh, it is 3.45 in the morning and just kind of lost my differential, I think, coming down the lad summit. And I'm able to lock my inner axle in and hopefully I can limp up here to a exit or a truck stop and at least get off the freeway here and go from there. I've already called the uh, people I need to talk to and they're in the process of getting things in order. I'm probably going to have to well, I know I'm going to have to have this truck towed back to a shop. I'm mad. I was on my way to Idaho Falls. So, anyway, it's uh, probably going to be a long day out here. Well, I just made it to this exit where... You go to Downey or Preston, exit 31 actually, and I'm just going to have to hang out here. I've called who I need to call. They've got a tow truck on the way. They'll come out with a truck and we'll just switch trucks out here and I'll continue on to uh, Idaho Falls in a different truck, but at least I'm here and, and uh, off the uh, off the road. So that's a that's a good thing. So anyway, we'll just wait here for a bit and till we can move on. Well, I am just sitting here at this truck stop out here on I-15 sitting here it's right here on the road you take into Downey and Preston and the one with the Flags West Hotel just waiting for the tow truck to come they're bringing me another truck and they will haul mine back to the shop and the tow truck has arrived and it's got my truck I will be driving behind it so we'll get him pulled in here and we'll drop that tractor and I'll hook up to the trailer he'll hook up to this truck and I'll be back on the road here shortly He's getting me unhooked now. And I'll swap some stuff I need out of my truck into it. And we'll be back. We'll be back rolling here before too long. Well, I am back up and on the road again here. They got everything swapped out. Take my truck to the shop, see what's going on with it, and I'll be in Idaho Falls in about another hour or so. It's been quite an interesting morning. Well, got him up there to Al's, got the trailer swapped around, now we're just headed back towards Logan. It's a little different being on this road this time of morning. That's what I'm used to. There's traffic on here today, but that was to be expected. At least the ball parking lot wasn't filled up yet, so I had a good place to drop my trailer and do my swapping trailers up there. 
So now we'll just head back towards Logan. Well, I'm just going up the Lat Summit right now, headed back towards Utah. And we got everything pretty much taken care of up there. Yeah, just heading back. And, uh, it kind of amazed me that I think it was about three hours from the time I first broke down until I had a replacement truck to continue on with that, so I think that's quite amazing. I've been doing this for about 15 years now, and I have never had to have a tow truck come and tow my truck back to the shop, so I feel pretty fortunate for that, and I know it I've always appreciated the old timers that drove and that because they didn't have nothing. You know, they were just broke down on the road. And that basically had to wait and hope somebody stopped and maybe could make a phone call or two for them and get some help out to them. But you look at it now with I I break down, it's I get on your phone, make a call or two, and pretty soon you, you got somebody there. And, and you know, it's a very comforting feeling. And I give a shout out to Elvin and Daddy's towing. You know, and get woke up at four in the morning or whatever time it was. And you know, an hour drive to where I was, I thought that was that was pretty good, so I really appreciate their effort. Appreciate our office's help and effort in getting the situation taken care of and getting it back on the road. So with that, I think I'll probably just wrap this video up right here and then hopefully make it the rest of the way home without any without any issues. Until next time, I'll just catch you a little bit later down the road.